Okay, we're with uh, wide receivers coach Bobby Wade at Coach's Media Day. Uh, Bobby, with uh, so many new faces um, on this group, I mean, do you feel it's uh, maybe more of a challenge than it was uh, this time last year with more established players? Absolutely, it's definitely a challenge. Uh, having to introduce a, a new office in, in such short notice, um, and then with new guys that you know, you got to kind of wipe their old memory from you know the plays and the offense they understood before, and uh, you know try to get them rebooted with the new information. So it's going to be a challenge. Uh, I, I can say I've had the experience from my playing days, from playing in multiple offenses, and um, you know having to learn quickly that you know there's some techniques and some teaching skills that you can apply here that you know to catch them up to speed quickly. And uh, with a good chance of having a, a, new, a new QB one, I mean it, it, this probably applies more for the returning wide receivers. What do you think the challenges are going to be over there? I mean, do the workouts that they have informally without coaches does that really have a lot of value, or it's really kind of square one when? Camp starts. Uh, that, that's going to have a lot of value. I think they, uh, they did a very good job in the offseason uh, with spending time with each other where the player land, player led seven on sevens and you know routes on air. So I, I think the combination with all the quarterbacks and the new group of guys, um, they've done a really good job of really trying to put that time in together uh, away from the building, which allows them to kind of understand you know what route styles some guys have and how quarterbacks like to get the ball out their hands. So I think the time they've put in is, is definitely going to show value. Um, with that said, now we got to bring it all together in a, in a team atmosphere. So now you're dealing with protections and uh, obviously adding a defense and competition. So, you know, it, there will be a learning curve there. And it's going to be tough probably at first, but I, th I think the guys are up to the challenge. I was joking with Coach Fletcher. It looks like there's a, there's a basketball team back there in the defensive backfield. That, that must be a different challenge for the wide receivers this year in camp. Yeah, that's fun. You know, that, that, that can be... Really good or really bad sometimes, <laughs> but no, nah, I think he's done a great job with you know bringing in guys with length, uh, which is something that is really just going to sharpen us as a group offensively and especially at the receiver position, especially with getting off the line of scrimmage and understanding uh, releases and, and things that you know we'll see some tall corners, we'll see some tall safeties in, in our conference, so it allows us to be able to prepare for those teams when we play them. Uh, as far as Badger, uh, obviously he seemed to, when he got the ball in his hands last year, made some great plays, but the ball hasn't been in his hands enough. I mean, can he be that guy that we need in this offense that we've been looking for for a couple of years, like a big play guy? Yeah, I think he can. You know, I, I hope he is. You know, I've really pushed him to uh, really take his game to the next level, and I think for him it's not going to be the physical part or the athletic part, but it's more the mental part. Uh, and, it, and it's going to be new to him, obviously, starting the position versus being a spot player coming in. And, uh, you know, where defenses aren't game planning for you. Uh, he'll get through that first week, and then week two they're going to, you know, have expectations on uh, what kind of player he is, what kind of uh, character he has as far as his game. And so, you know, I'm, I'm really challenging him to really start fast and, you know, maintain that and sustain that energy throughout the year. Uh, nobody's going to be perfect. You know, I expect some learning curve there, too, and him to make some mistakes, but it's more about how he handles those and uh, how he pushes forward. Um, the beautiful thing about the group we have this year, it won't just fall on Badger, and I hope that really kind of relieves some stress off him, that there's a, a group of guys that have some experience um, that will be able to really alleviate some of the stress and pressure on him. And so hopefully we can play better as a group collectively and not have to just put you know the onus on one player.